What's up guys, JV2017 here with your daily Grand Theft Auto 5 content. Today we are looking at how to get free taxi service in Grand Theft Auto 5 for life. First off, the process of getting free taxi service does require you to buy a property. So on the screen right now, you can go ahead and click that thumbnail to video I made just a few days ago that outlines pretty much everything you need to know about buying properties and how it works in Grand Theft Auto 5. So if you have no idea, I encourage you to click that video and check it out. Looking at the map here, this is where downtown Cabco is located in Los Santos, right here in East Vinewood. Also keep in mind, before you can buy any properties, you have to have completed the Friends Reunited Story Mission, which is about 30% through the game, just to give you guys a time frame. You also have to be Franklin in order to buy this property. Just a heads up, you need to have $200,000 on Franklin. So here it is, it's very easy to buy. You just click right on the D-pad to purchase it and you get that $2,000 weekly income. Just for some extra clarification on properties in general, what you do is you put down a giant chunk of money and earn a weekly profit that will be deposited into your account. And down the line, you know, after a certain amount of time, you will get that money back and you will start turning a profit. But sometimes it does take a while. So I encourage you to get a lot of money in your account before you buy a property. Also note that only Franklin gets free taxi service from this when you buy it. Now that you're the owner of Downtown Cabco, you will get some property management missions from the manager Raul. So he will give you a call, but first off you have to wait about 24 hours, a full day. What I did was slept twice just to advance the time. After I advanced that time, Downtown Cabco called me immediately when I hopped in my car. I'm not sure if you have to be in your car for them to call you, but it makes a lot of sense because it is a taxi service. So if you're not getting that call, I would try jumping in a car. And there are nine total property management taxi missions for you to do. What you do is pretty much pick up the client from point A and bring them to point B, and you have to listen to their demands. Now, each one is going to be different. It just so happens that this guy is absolutely insane and wants you to drive like a crazy person. Now, what I'm showing you right here is the P that will appear on the map. Now, I was incorrect in my last video. You have to respond to these within a certain amount of time. I'm not sure what the time is, but if you don't, do these cab fares when they when he calls you and asks for you to do them, they will disappear. So pretty much you need to head there right when you get the call if you do decide to accept the mission. So here is the first client. We are picking him up from the hospital because like I said, this guy is insane. Now, what you have to do is really listen to who you're driving on these nine different missions because they are very different. This is the first guy and he wants you to be just the worst driver you've ever seen. He wants you to speed, you know, slide around corners, do some burnouts, do some donuts maybe. He will also give you a $200 daredevil bonus if you hit some kind of jump. Just get some air and he'll give you that bonus money as well on top of the cab fare that you'll get, which is usually around $200. What I typically did on this mission to keep him entertained was run into cars and run over light poles and such. Just, you know, damage the car. It really doesn't matter. And he says like, yeah, there it is, dude, that was awesome. You know, you'll be able to tell when he's enjoying what you're doing and he'll also complain when he doesn't like what you're doing and you're driving too safely. Once you deliver this guy to his destination, he will get out of the car and it will tell you exactly what you're getting paid for. I got a $206 cab fare, $83 tip, and no daredevil bonus because I didn't hit any jumps or get any air. And also as a bonus, you get an achievement for doing this right here. All's fair in love and war. You purchased downtown Cabco and completed a private fare. And that is all I have for you guys today. Remember to click that like button and let me know if you learned something new from this video. Also remember to subscribe to my channel for more daily Grand Theft Auto 5 content, tips, tricks, guides, all that fun stuff. Hope you guys enjoy the video and I will talk to you later. Peace.